Okay, so this video is used to um, take an inequality and find a situation that matches it, or taking a situation and writing an inequality and understanding how that's different from an equation. So we talked about the meaning of the symbols. Um, let's talk about the words that you would see. So you would use less than if, you, if the word phrase was fewer than or below. You'd use greater than if the word phrase was more than or above. You'd use is less than or equal to if the word phrase is at most, no more than. And you use greater than or equal to if it was at least, no less than. So let's just take these simple phrases and take away kind of the word problems. Just look at the phrases to find out what inequality would go here. So this says 19 more than 7 times a number. A number is going to be my variable. So 7 times a number, 19 more, okay, is at most 8, okay? So at most 8, so that means this needs to be, it could be 8 at most, but it's going to be less than or equal to 8. So that's where that sign comes in. So if you solve this, you would want to say it is less than this. So um, this one, 12 less than 4 times a number, 4x minus 12, 12 less than 4 times a number, is less than 6. So this would be less than 6 is what that's saying. So now they're never going to be this easy. They're going to be more wordy and complicated for the star test. Um, so this is, you can write two-step inequalities to represent real-world situations by translating words into numbers, variables like x, and operations. Add, subtract, multiply, divide. Just as you would a two-step equation. So let's read this. A mountain climbing team is camped at an altitude of 18,460 feet on Mount Everest. The team wants to reach the 29,092-foot 29, summit within six days. Write an inequality to find the average number of feet per day the team must climb to accomplish its goal. So um, what is X? X is the average number of feet per day. So average number of feet per day, okay? So the inequality is I'm at 18,460 is where I'm starting. And I'm going to add to that an amount every day for how many days? For six days. And then I want to get to 29,092. Now, does this have to be greater than? 29,962 or less than 29,962. It has to be at least equal to. And so if it was less than, would I reach my goal? No. So it needs to be greater than that to reach the goal. So um, it would be this amount. The amount for six days would have to be greater than the amount to reach the goal. Okay, 45 members of the SFMS choir are trying to raise at least $6,000 so they can compete in the state championship. They already have, so they want at least $6,000, so $6,000 is going to go over here. And at least tells me that they want more than that, okay? Um, they already have $1,240, $1,240. Write an inequality to find out the amount each member must raise on average to meet their goal. So the, the X is the amount that each member must raise. And how many members are there? 45. So 45 people are going to raise a certain amount, add it to the money that they have, and they want to get that to be greater than $6,000 because they need at least $6,000. So 
the um, line underneath says at least $6,000. So this is the last one. Ella has $40 to spend at the State Fair. Admission is $6 and each ride costs $3. Ride an inequality to find the greatest number of rides she can go on. So X is going to be the number of rides. Okay? And she's got $40 to spend. Now can she go any dollar above that? No, she cannot. So that is the absolute most she can spend, but she can spend $40. Now the admission is six, and then each ride is three. So three times R, three times the number of rides, plus six has to be less than or equal to 40. So that's how you turn um, letters and numbers and situations and operations into inequalities.